I'm gonna go for that Valkyrie C4. It works 50% of the time out of my two times I've tried it. Not the idea for honor, once you get to certain rep, it's all sweats. I mean, that's basically what happened with uh, Chivalry. Everyone's like, this game is so cool, the concept's amazing, and then as soon as you reach a certain, like, server, or rank, or go on a different specific server, then it's just literally everyone doing everything possible to make the game not fun. I just love dicks, bro. Thanks for sub V Krimmel. So sorry to hear that. What you must have gone through. Didn't get the C4, but the Osa was just running for me. as bad as Roy, I have to use the Valkyrie cams as a crutch. How am I just dummying these kids right now? Oh my god! Dang, an ace! Nicely done! Uh, how? <laughs> how did I pull that off? Also, the... the... <laughs> Hopefully my team doesn't think I'm cheating. I guess I'm going Valkyrie again. <laughs> Calculated, of course. The 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 one match where we, or I guess the second match now, where we vote on how many kills I'm going to get, and I get an ace in the first round. I mean, it's possible I could have just blown my whole load here and have nothing to show for the next round. You never know. on the shoddy getting nerfed. I understand why they're doing it. I do still think that their reasoning and um, the complaints about it are pretty stupid. If Ella shoddy was truly, truly as broken as everyone claims it was or is, um, when I play in the high ranks, I wouldn't just get shit on every time I run Ella Shoddy, which I do get shit on every time I run Ella Shoddy. I've only ever had like one good match against champions where I actually destroyed them. That's because it was on Oregon. Like 99% of the time is just uh, getting shit on. Because basically the only situations where the Ella Shoddy excels are in situations where you could excel with any weapon. Like, sure, it has its lucky moments, but you could say about any shotgun. Oh. God. Ah! Oh! My fucking teammate.
Maverick's outside the kitchen window. Crouch walk in main lobby, they're right. I shot a little bit to the right. I had that as well. This bad. Knock your stairs. Four ping. Crouch height. Coming up. Right side of the stairs. Push drone right below it. Unfortunately, they destroyed the proximity alarm, but... Okay. Oh! He Love just got his shot. head taken off. Smoke coming on four ping. Why are you red ping? She's in sight. Who wins these? Oh! Crimson. Burnt? I think that's how you pronounce the name. All right. Can I get all eight kills that I need to complete the challenge just with Valkyrie? Castle get a buff? Castle got a buff in the sense that he can now put down castle barricades on top of normal barricades. It'll just break the normal barricade. That way you can save time and you don't have to take it down and then put up a castle. You can just do it all in one motion and it's really beneficial when you're trying to set up site. Pinions on the Valk nerf? Uh, honestly, I think they're good like i personally hate it when cameras are outside and you have to just either scour the entire outside area to find them or you have to bring an iq and that's the worst part like if you ever talk to any valk man like roy he'll just tell you we'll just bring an iq and you'll counter valkyrie it's like bro we don't we shouldn't have to bring an iq every single round to counter this it's the same issue with thatcher is like it's not fun being forced to bring one specific operator to counter one specific meta. So the Valk nerf I think is completely fair and justified. I think it's an overall good change. I'm just taking advantage of the fact that it's not implemented yet. Oh. in the pools. Uh, my foot was exposed. Ash got me from the drone hole. Yeah, that's why we don't open that rotate there. Ah, I forgot all about that thing. Oh. Oh no. I got the ash. I didn't expect them all to just run in like that. Oh, I got my eight kills. Ooh. Okay, Doc. And then just plant it in the middle of sight. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> uh, he had that. He shot the foot, but then he panicked. <laughs> Can I do my typical? Actually, no. 
We're doing something different. Chat, if you haven't already, make sure to go uh, click on today's video and like it and comment and leave it running in the background. Thank you. Got a viewbot myself. It's not viewbotting, actually, but forget I ever said that. I to start voting. I want my VIP. I think uh, channel predictions is probably the only way you'll ever actually get VIP. Sitting and watching would take way too long because I don't stream that much. If I was a streamer who streamed like 12 hours a day, it would be possible. On main door. It is on main door. I don't know if the Gon 6 will destroy it or not. The timing. Happening. Ah! Okay. Just victory by numbers. And one of them left. I think he was just AFK though. I don't think he rage quit. Although I guess you could say AFK would be a rage quit. Nah. Typical streamer enemy team? No. See, normally my enemy teams are gods among men who haven't played in like two or three years. So then when I try to pull up their stats to be like, look how good these guys are, it doesn't work because then they're like copper elo with a 0.2 KD, but somehow against me they just destroy me. Or if I'm playing ranked, they're either stream sniping or cheating. Valorant 1. I don't know, Brit. I'm trying to decide, so I don't want Valorant on my PC because I don't trust the anti-cheat. I don't like them having access to every file on my PC. But is it really worth buying a whole new PC just to try Valorant? Probably not. I don't think that's worth spending $2,000 on. So I'm like, do I just give up and if they take my identity, they take my identity? Probably. And truly, the only reason why I'm even considering Valorant more now than ever is that uh, Doggo said when he was in a Valorant lobby, the randoms recognized him and therefore used to watch me. So I'm like, oh, maybe some of my viewers will carry over to Valorant. Can't vault over that. Never mind. You guys, ready for this? Mutes and VIP. Oh, that would have been so cool. Way too nice. Oh, he's on the left side. Okay. So let's just walk on him. It's okay, it's okay. Are me and Annie feeling? Um, Annie. 
I think feels better today. Yesterday she said it was like the worst she's felt ever since she got COVID. But she's like, I feel nothing. I've had zero real symptoms. I've had like a sore throat, but that's pretty common for me in the winter time. I always have a sore throat. And then um, barely any sniffles. She's just been like headaches. Uh, oh, what the? One over there. Oh, they throw it. She's had like headaches constantly, like uh, super congested, congested, um, coughing, sore throat, all of it. And roller coaster symptoms for two weeks. Yeah, that's probably what she's going through. It was hilarious because uh, uh, Britt Connor was like, "Oh, like if you got our COVID, then it, you're gonna have like nothing. You'll be fine." I was like, "Didn't Britt like?" die for 10 days he's like oh yeah well she had it bad but everyone else was fine I'm like okay <laughs> doesn't mean much there's no way they're gonna have someone holding above look at that they're all downstairs There is someone holding above. The bar. She dropped. Last shot, I just assumed I'd kill him. Get him! Get him! We got him! <laughs> he's just being bombarded while he's trying to kill my teammate. Easy dub. 14 kills. I was going through some of my footage earlier today, and I was like, man, I don't have enough good full matches to upload. Here's one of them. Eight kills with Valkyrie, and then six kills on attack. I'm a god among men, and no one can tell me otherwise.